Hi everyone, Miss Stewie here. Sentences are complete ideas that start with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. Sometimes sentences have a lot of meaning and sometimes they are just silly. Today, Ozobot is going to help you pick words for your sentences, so this should be interesting or very silly. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and both pages of your Silly Sentences activity sheets. In today's lesson, you will program your Ozobot to choose random words that you will use to then make sentences. First, let's quickly review the parts of a sentence. The beginning of a sentence is usually a noun, a person, a place, or a thing that we call the subject of a sentence. This means that the noun or the subject is the topic of the sentence. Next, every sentence needs a verb. A verb is an action word, which connects the beginning and the end of the sentence. And finally, the last part of a sentence is usually called the object, and it is also a noun. For example, look at the sentence, the girl walked the dog. Girl is a noun and the subject of the sentence. What did the girl do? She walked, which is the verb or the action word. Finally, what did she walk? The dog, which is a noun and the object of the sentence. First, you need to place color codes on your silly sentences word chooser to program your Ozobot. The first code you will add is a U-turn code. The code is blue red. You will fill in the U-turn code in four places, both ends on the right side of the chooser labeled verbs and both ends of the left side of the chooser labeled nouns. Next, the right and left sides of the chooser need to be connected so that Ozobot can help you choose words without having to restart or be moved each time. You'll do this with color codes called line switch codes. Today, you'll use the line switch straight code, which is green, blue, green. This code programs your bot to leave the line it is following and start following the next line it finds. Can you fill in the four U-turn codes and the 12 line switch straight codes? Now that the color codes are ready, your Ozobot will choose some words. Notice there are words next to each intersection. The words on the left side are nouns and on the right side are verbs. The chooser is set up as a loop, so your bot will travel from one side to the other until you pick up your bot. When you place your bot on the map, it will randomly turn down one of the lines. Write the word that goes with the line on your activity sheet. Watch me. I'll place my bot on the map on one of the start positions and observe which row it turns down. My bot turned down nose. I will write nose on my activity sheet next to words chosen above lines one and two. My bot will then cross over to the verb side and randomly choose another line. My bot turned down begin. I will write the verb begin on my activity sheet next to the first word. My bot will cross back over to the noun side and choose another noun. My bot chose pig. I'll write the noun on the last line next to the other two words. Now that my Ozobot has chosen two nouns and a verb, I'll pick up my bot. 
Can you place your Ozaba on a start position and choose three words? Can you write the three words your Ozaba chose on the activity sheet next to words chosen above one and two? On your activity sheet, you'll notice there are two word banks. You will be using words that your Ozabot chose and words from word bank one for your first sentence. You can choose the words from word bank one as many times as necessary to complete a sentence. Also, you can use whatever form of the verb necessary so that your sentence makes sense. For example, if my bot chose eat, I could use eats or eight. My Ozabot chose nose, begin, and pig. I will use the article the in my sentence. I will also use the word big in my sentence to make it more comical. My sentence is, I will begin to wipe the pig's big nose. Can you use the nouns and the verb your Ozabot chose along with the words from Word Bank 1 to create a funny sentence? Write your funny sentence on the line next to 1. There is another line, line 2, for another sentence. You will use the words your Ozabot chose and the words from both Word Bank 1 and Word Bank 2 to create a longer, more descriptive sentence. You can change your sentence around however you like, but still use the two nouns and the verbs your Ozabot chose. For my second sentence, I will write, I will begin to wipe the chocolate off the pig's big nose. Can you use the nouns and the verb your Ozabot chose along with words from Word Bank 1 and 2 to create another funny sentence? Write your funny sentence on the line next to 2. Complete your activity sheet by running your Ozabot on the word chooser four more times. Each time you run your Ozabot, let it choose two nouns and a verb. Then use the words to write two sentences. To make your first sentence, use the words your Ozabot chose and the words from Word Bank 1. For the second sentence, use the nouns and the verb your bot chose and words from Word Banks 1 and 2. Can you complete the rest of your activity sheet by using your Ozabot to choose nouns and verbs? Then make two different sentences using the words. Your bot will run four more times. Well done. I hope you had some great laughs at your sentences. Be sure you've completed this activity by answering the following questions. Did you fill in the word chooser with the four U-turn codes and the 12 line switch straight codes? Did you write the two nouns and one verb your Ozobot chose for each of the five times you ran your Ozobot? Do you have 10 silly sentences? If you're looking for more to do, draw pictures of the sentences. Use the sentences to write a longer story. Write stories with someone else using all of your sentences. Or have a laugh-in with other students reading your stories out loud. Come back again soon for our next lesson.